Hello YouTube, back at you with another video. You already know who it is, but just in case you don't, this is low. <laughs> Never mind. Today, this is unfortunately another video. Mind you, I've been out of the loop. Twitter's been banned, suspended. I don't know what's going on in the loop. I'm not in the Twitter world like that anymore. Someone created me a Twitter. I could see what's going on, you know. I could kind of fuck with things a little bit. It is, you know, they made me the Twitter, but it's still my Twitter. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys. But uh, yeah, so make sure you guys follow me. I know you want my updates. So there was a tragic thing that happened in Florida. There was a Madden tournament. And it seems like from the video I seen it, I wasn't gonna do reaction to it because I'm not, that's not my style. When people get murdered and killed in cold blood for absolutely no reason, I'm not gonna do a reaction for it. That's completely, completely inappropriate. I've seen the video, my condolences by the way, it's a shame that you're not safe anywhere regardless of what you do. My deepest and deepest condolences to the families out there that were involved in this, that were hurt, injured, and or lost lives. I'm very sorry. I really wish that there was something that could be done about these types of things. And right now this video is about someone trying to make money off this and exploit this situation when it shouldn't be something that's exploited for money, but in a sense alarmed. You know, when things happen like this, you don't sit there and watch a reaction video to somebody being shot on camera. Mind you, it did not show exactly what was happening, but you get to see what happened right before that person was killed. So we have the leech here again. Once again, we have the leech. I didn't know about this because I don't check this man's channel. I said what I had to say about him and that was gonna be it. But we have this leech once again, this Ernesto Corny, my motherfucking snapback smell like sweat in a hot summer day, mind you. They're snapbacks now because I mentioned it. Before they were fitted caps. So we have this guy again. There's a Twitter that pops up and this guy says, this is actually gross. Posting a reaction video to something like this is deplorable on so many levels. I knew this dude was desperate for views, but the FGC needs to rid itself of the trash. And my good friend, Jeff the Hero says, he tags me at the Twitter you guys don't know about, but now you do. If you needed proof this guy was despicable, there you go. Now, like I said before, you're dealing with an individual like Ernesto Cornball, Desperado Lopez, someone who's desperate for views. If you look at his channel, any video that does not name drop does not crack over 10K. It barely scratches close, maybe to about nine and a half. To me, if you, if you have 20,000 subscribers and up, any video under 10K is a flop. So I checked this channel, I wanted to see his views, wanted to see what was happening in the videos that he didn't name drop or bring up something monumental that happened and none of the videos are cracking over 10K. But I told you guys before, you're dealing with a desperate man. You're dealing with someone who has never been popular in life. You're dealing with someone who is bored. You're dealing with someone who will do anything to gain views. And what he did is completely disgusting. I'm not trying to capitalize on a fan base or anything like that because we've all done things. But what he has done was completely disgusting. He sits down here, he watches the video and acts like it's his first time seeing it, knowing that he's seen the video before. He's like, oh, it's right there. When you've watched the video a million different times, you realize that no one wants to watch your comedy. Your views show it. No one wants to watch your comedy. So what do you do? You react to shit or you name drop to gain your views. We talked about this, but this was just completely disgusting. You should never, ever react to a video of somebody getting killed on camera. And then on top of that, guys, if you check the video, it's monetized. So you're running ads you're running ads on a video that was meant to be shown for awareness to try to capitalize off your revenue. I understand you got a family to feed, that's fine. But some videos you just don't monetize. On top of that, it looks like he has created more than one video. I guess after the backlash that he's seen on Twitter, he decided to drop another video to make it like it was an awareness, like he's a good guy. 
he's not a good guy at all for the simple fact that he does not understand the context of doing certain things. Your words will not be spread or transpired into anything that can bring a positive light on this situation because you've already deemed it that you want to make money off of the situation since that's the main thing and the main goal of your shit channel in the first place. What you should do is change your name from Ernesto Lopez Comedy to Ernesto Lopez Clout Chasing, Ernesto Lopez at least do something smart and call it Ernesto Lopez News. Your channel is not a comedy channel. Your channel has turned into a FGC. Hold on. Are you FGC? Are you, what are you? I think what he has tried to transpire to into anything that will gain his ass views. What you're doing is you're cloaking a catastrophe into a way to build your popularity. And it's disgusting. People on Twitter see it's disgusting. You're a fucking fraud like I said before. You're a coward. You'll do anything to try to gain views. Let's take a look at your channel right now and I want to just go ahead and look at a couple of things and see how your channel's doing if you don't name drop. I just want to shed light on this just to show you the lengths that this guy will go to to simply put views on his channel and gain subs. FGC reacts, not a name drop so I'm not sure but he did put Jacksonville in it so it might gain some sort of views. Gamers react to the Madden tournament shooting, of course that's going to hit 23k, people are searching for that on YouTube. Um, Let's see, getting gringy with Hitbox Bogus Journeys, episode 30. Barely cracking 5k. Why? Because you didn't name drop. FGC reacts to blah 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 comments. Of course that gets over 10k. You name dropped. Tried to be unique here. Sexy Twitch streamers are real gamers. Tool button check. No name drop. You barely can crack close to 9k. Drop a video about Sonic Fox. 18k. Drop a video with Tampa Bison's name in it. 17k. I think you guys get the clue that this man will name drop and cover any type of topic, no matter what it is to gain views. Ernesto Lopez, like I said before, I don't care how many people dislike this video, it does not matter. There has to be another voice, again to the gang, a tomato to the tomato. So what's going on here? You're a poor excuse of a comedian. I've said this plenty of times, you're a leech, you'll do anything for views. The fact that you would cover somebody being murdered, not just cover, but react to a video of a gunshot going off, ending someone's life, taking someone's soul, shows how deep and low that you'll go to try to gain revenue and views for your shit channel. You deserve to be slapped. You deserve to be roughed up in a sense that this is just ridiculous. You can't sit here and exploit someone's death for your own personal gain and then try to make it an awareness issue by dropping another video. Remove the ads on both videos. If you really give a shit, remove the ads. You shouldn't receive any ad revenue for these videos going up because you're capitalizing on someone's death. You are not a part of the FGC. You're not a part of any community. You suck at Street Fighter. I'm sure you do. Why the fuck are you covering a hitbox when you can't even play the game? Why are you involving yourself in the Smash community, the FGC in general, or other communities? Now you're tapping into the mad community? You're trying to figure out a way to exploit, exploit any, and wring out any type of juices that you possibly can from any avenue, period. Cause you're pitiful. No one gives a fuck about your whack ass videos. If you don't name drop, you are not entertaining. You're annoying to look at. Your face sags like droopy. Your hats turn to snapbacks because I said so. Stop wearing Adidas jackets every video. Show your saggy neck more. How are you Hispanic and you can't even grow a full beard? How are you Hispanic and your mustache is not full? It baffles me. You're an annoying, worthless, clout chasing, capitalizing on death, only wearing snapbacks because I said so, saggy droopy face, Adidas jacket wearing, desperate motherfucker. If you guys watch his content and if you guys watch his most recent videos and you're a supporter of this dude capitalizing on someone's death, 
You need to question your own morality because nothing that he did was for an awareness cause or an awareness issue. If you don't see behind the bigger picture, which is him capitalizing on this and making some sort of revenue, you're a fucking fool. See you guys next time.